Oh, he has clothes on the floor. Uh, you might have you get away with that one. No. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice. And justice. For all. Uh, uh, do we have any public comments? Okay. Um, just a comment from, from this public. Since I wasn't here at the last meeting, I didn't participate in the conversation or discussion. If you make a, a vote on a final report tonight, I will be abstaining from it because I didn't participate. Um, and I do have just a few comments that I'll say for the end. Um, Approval of minutes, we don't have the minutes. So you will have to take those. <coughs> All right, and I will just turn it over to you for your discussion of the final charter commission report. Before they jump into that, I just wanted to share that we have incorporated one of the suggestions that came out during the hearings. It was one that could be like a public information session a few weeks before um, yeah. So we've set something up for May 10th. We've got it on the website. We'll have it in this room. People can come live or do it by the webinar. And we'll, uh, we'll have the planner, town manager, finance director, public works director, and we'll entertain any questions people have about stuff in the warrant. So how do we get the word out? Um, we put something on it in our prior ad. So that'll be coming out as soon as the prior comes out. We've also put it on the website. Um, so far, what we got to come up with. Yeah. What was the date? That's great. On the 10th. Tuesday, Tuesday the 10th. Week before town meeting. Or at least two weeks before town meeting. Town meeting is the 25th, I think. Yes, Wednesday. So this is like a, a warrant questions for <clears throat> exactly okay here at town hall. Yep. Is there specific guidelines of things that we need to have in it, Mark? Um, since you're not proposing a charter, no. Um, it could be something as simple as we met, we decided uh, there wasn't anything we recommended to include in a charter. Or if you wanted, there were a few things that came up in the meeting of some suggestions. You could say that we uh, decided not to prepare a charter for consideration. Um, but here's a couple of things we thought might be good to try to include in government. Obviously, there's nothing requires it to be done, but it could be something as simple as this meet, you know, the meeting we're talking about, or I think, um, I don't know, Ed ever brought it up at this group, or it was just something Ed brought up to his staff. But something Ed suggested is you might want to look into doing a sign, kind of like Lisbon does out here with the message board. It might be another way to get news out to get uh, how people find out more about what's going on. I was going to, I was going to say just that, that would be something that I would highly recommend that uh, we have a message board out front for even this meeting that nobody really is going to hear about, you know, that's coming up. We really should have that out front. So those who don't get the paper can still see it. So yeah, I highly push for a sign out front. That's like Lisbon has, that's informative. We're, we're exempt from the sign ordinance, so oh. we actually could. <laughs> okay. Oh, we should print them the school site. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I always laugh when I go by, because you can't, going by, you can't read the school site a lot of times. Mm -hmm. The bootleg is going to find you. Yeah. Yeah, so it could be as simple as we decided not to put a charter forward, or you could, if you wanted to make some suggestions that aren't going to be. 
required. And I guess this would be who would like to take a stab at writing that in charge. Looks like um, Tyler has his hand up. Oh, yeah, just call on. Hi, Tyler. I just wanted to throw my support behind Ed's idea about the sign. I think it's a pretty good idea. I know that the lack of notice and the lack of visibility is a big thing that I heard about at the counter while at the town office. Folks that often hear about meetings after the fact and that could be something ongoing that changes. So I just wanted to point out that I do think that's a good idea. Thank you. I'm looking at the list that Marilyn sent out, oh, yeah. which is quite helpful. And I'm wondering if there's anything on this list that we want to suggest that the selectmen look at for maybe code change. And if so, would we want to recommend to the selectmen that they form a ad hoc committee um, to look at the code changes and come back to them with recommendations on um, wording to go to a town meeting if they have, uh, <clears throat> have any changes they, they think that we should do to the code? Yeah, I think that's a good first question would be is there anything from the list that you really think that we should refer to the second to have them consider i think i know there was some talk about ethics and some talk about you know a lot of different a lot of different things that i know some people that were it's like ed's having trouble hearing to the extent we can i'm sorry ed the, the mics are on too, so if you want to pull it closer, so if you have one in front of you. So. I'm sorry, it just sounded like you were mumbling. I was trying to hear it better. It's what I do. <laughs> I always got me so flustered that <laughs> I'm just glad I have that effect on someone. <laughs> So in the report, we would include questions that were asked front to legal counsel and maybe we could use Marilyn's chart yeah, for a breakdown because it is easy to look at as far as what the yeah. breakdown is. Maybe for the final report, what we could do is just summarize what we've been doing since we commenced include the minutes from the two public hearings where we can see what people actually said and then also include the legal letter and this and then maybe propose just what you just said but is there um well would we want to um refer all these questions um, as well some of them like more frequent town meetings we've already right had that set up and things like right. that um we can be yeah. pretty much cold anytime um, you know, um, i don't know do we want to have improving town meeting advertising into a um, an ordinance. Right. It seems like some of this stuff can be tackled. Right. Place. But I, okay. Yeah. So the, the first is the whether or not a charge is required. But then the second one is the possible remedies. And there's multiple on most of them yeah. ways to remedy it, which could be something yeah. for the next. Next to our commission. Well, or the, the, ad, the, ad, the, um, the next people thinking about challenges in our current form of government. 
whoever that may be. That's something to select on the other side. I think that's um, some of the concerns that were voiced um, previously from even some members here is that the Charter Commission will send a report in Right, and then nothing, and nothing ever gets acted on. Um, I would wonder if maybe if we try to push them into mm -hmm. having a committee look at the codes and then come back with recommended code changes in writing to go to town meeting, if that might not yeah. spark some of these on. But um, yeah. I don't think it can hurt anything. What have we got to do? Committee can always say no to that. Yeah. Yeah. Some things they might be interested in, like, uh, I don't know about the ethics policy, but maybe <laughs> recall and removal or withholding pay yeah. or something don't show up. Mm -hmm. Now that they might be interested in that. Yeah. 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 Tyler. Tyler. So I, I just wanted to offer as we're talking about general thoughts on what would be in the report. I think the first thing should be a brief summary of the, you know, it is not the charter commission does not recommend the creation of a charter. So it's very clear. And then as we jump into the different selections, one idea that I know we discussed at one or two of the meetings was that there actually is a town meeting committee that the town has on the books, but nobody currently sits on that would help tackle advertising some of the other things that we've talked about. If we are going to make any recommendations to the selectmen outside of the charter process, I think one would be getting that committee active again. And I think there are folks that have stepped up through the public hearings that have stepped up on this charter commission that might be able to help grab that bull by the horns. The reason I said if is, you know, I just want to make sure that we're staying in our lane and whatever recommendations we have, ultimately the biggest thing that needs to be clear is that the Charter Commission did not want to move forward with drafting a charter because that's the report. All the other stuff are addendums and recommendations, but if I was to go as far as a recommendation, I think one of the big important ones would be getting folks on that town meeting committee that currently has no one, because I think that very well could help solve a lot of the problems that were raised, specifically about attendance, involvement, notification of town meeting. And if one good thing can come out of that is that that committee gets active again, you know, I think, you know, it's not changing the contents of the warren, it's not changing X, Y, and Z, but helping get the citizens involved in the process is a good thing. So that's kind of, you know, if I was going to go the route of recommendations, that's where I would go. But I also, you know, my role on the Charter Commission outside of pursuing a charter or not, I don't know how much of the recommendations really are in our purview, though we do have the right to write whatever we want in the report. So that's my two cents. Thank you. Thank you. Again, I, I, I don't think there's anything prohibiting the group from making recommendations. The worst that can happen is the board can say, no, you've overstepped. That's it. We aren't going to look at it. So I, I could be wrong, but I mean, I, I just don't see losing anything by doing that if that's the way things choose to go. Just to um talk a little bit about Tyler's um, mentioning of the town meeting committee. If my memory serves me correctly, I think when that committee was formed, it was formed to do all that stuff, um, to educate people about the town meeting, to try and get people to the town meeting, and to try and do things that would get people there. Like, I think we tried um, having babysitting, and, various other things. That was a long time ago. So just going down through the list, um, the first one about changing when the warrant's released to allow extra warrant review. I believe that it's already released earlier than the 
technically required already. I mean, that's something to me that kind of goes into the whole communication of citizens participating during the whole budget process. Um, I just feel like most of this kind of goes around communication. Um, you know, a warrant informational session, um, remote participation at town meeting, new business, general discussion, and more frequent town meetings are, um, are all kind of off the table because they weren't allowed under state law or such. Um, improved town meeting advertising, that kind of rolls into the same thing. Um, I don't think there was a strong support for districts. The only thing that I, I found attractive about the thought of having districts is it actually might encourage more people to run if they were running in a smaller area focusing. I, I could be wrong, but that's that was the only thing I found appealing about it. I, I don't, yeah, I never really heard that much on that, but I think uh, everything that Carrie was discussing at the beginning of that could be taken care of with a good uh, a good promotional sign out front of the town hall that everybody can see. Because I think what is biggest thing is, is nobody is hearing about the meetings until they've already happened because they may not be looking at that media, social media or whatever that we're actually using. But they pay attention to things they see as they drive by every day. And I know I don't drive through Lisbon very often, but when I do, I see the meetings that they're having, their planning, their planning board meetings, their their budget meetings, their their public hearings, even, you know, because some people just don't pay attention to anything until after the fact. But if we have it in their face, they'll see it and they'll say, Oh, maybe I'll go. But I mean, the the committee that we were talking about, the town meeting committee. That was formed, yes. That was just to try to get people to come to town meetings. So really that's not a, a committee to activate to deal with the code issues. I think it just needs to be something different that deals with the codes if we want to change the codes. But that town meeting committee strictly just tried to get people to come to town meeting and obviously it didn't help. They, we tried a lot of different things, babysitting, everything, all those things. They just didn't work. So, But I think a sign, a con, you know, a permanent sign out there with a constant reminder to people will make all the difference in the world for any attendance, even if it's 10 or 15 more, you're getting it out there to people that they can see, not not feel they're not being told. You can use the money that's going to be left from our budget to right. fund it. Right. I mean, when Ed brought it, I think he brought it to his staff first, and he thought it was a good idea. So, um, Derek's listening, so I'll try speaking for it anyway. But <laughs> I think it's something that's something we tend to explore good. further. So that's a good idea. Good. Okay. Pleasure we include that in the letter. I think it doesn't hurt. It shows if this group thinks that's something worthwhile. <clears throat> I bet you. Yeah, I think we've heard very loudly um, several things, but one of the primary things that I took away from the hearing was the need for more communications and interaction with the public and information exchange. So I think that anything that will enhance that could have a place in the report based upon what we've heard. Okay, so and I agree, I don't like Mount Ararat sign. You know, we could put a sign up that's very, very inform informational. Well, they weren't supposed to be allowed to do that. They had to get a zone change for it. Because when I saw it go up, I was like, what is that doing there? And there's not supposed to be any of those on Main Street. So I actually emailed Rod and I was like, what happened? And he responded that they got a zone change for it. <clears throat> So, all right, so this is what I broke down for potential things. Uh, Peter recommended perhaps, rec perhaps suggesting that a committee be formed to review the ordinance. The, I forget the name of the ordinance. I got it in here somewhere. Chapter six, I think it is. I don't have it. Here. It sounds, it sounds yeah, right. Six. I believe it's six and seven. Six and seven. It is. 
chapter six and seven ordinance. Yeah. Um, Tyler okay. was deactivated town committee, committee, town meeting committee to address attendance promotion. Uh, in, and Ed was the informational sign and Pam was also increased communication and promotion. What else? Um, again, any of the things that are, were mentioned in there. Um, so recall that they excel that stuff. I don't I think that's all in, that's in chat. I don't think that's in chapter six. No, I think that stuff I'll let food because it was mentioned too. So right. I don't think we should really exclude anything. It's right. going to be easily you know, hand waved away, but yeah. um, it was all mentioned by the public, and that's why it came up. Only caution I might have is I think your recommendations are more likely to get action if they're a rifle approach rather than a shotgun. So I think if you say here's we're actually we're actually writing a charter, but here's 30 things you should consider. It's probably not going to get too far. But if you said we're we're not writing a charter for these reasons, but here's five things that could be done without a charter we think would help. So you may want to focus more on your recommendations, is my thought. Let's make it seven. Or so whatever number, but I probably wouldn't just throw the entire list. And say, well, a lot of it can be consolidated. You know, two or three consolidated. I mean, I think the bulk of what we heard, the overarching themes of the public comment we received was keep town meeting. But try to fix its problems, which was attendance, you know, getting the word out about all town things, and then and then the one thing that I'm not sure that can be fixed was allowing for people who can't get to town meeting to participate. But that's that's illegal. So I don't know how to fix that one. Well, we could make a note in there, P.S. <laughs> you know, by the way, this is an issue that came up and we recommend that, that staff continue to explore options um, as, as the state code changes or whatever is make it possible. I, I think post pandemic, um, people's mindsets with participating remotely or just even listening or watching meetings remotely mm. probably Increase, I would almost think. Um, I mean, because before you could watch it on public cable if you had cable or whatever, but I don't know how many people watched it. I think it's, but now that they're posted on the website after the meeting, you know, you can listen to it in the car when you're driving, or, you know, I think there's mm -hmm. there's more options now with technology. Now we're past this that um, kind of a plethora of ways that people who want to listen or want to kind of have an ear on what's going on. To, you know, and to make sure that that gets and, and easy, keep in mind and keep them and keep in mind we have a town meeting every year, and the date of the town meeting is set at the last town meeting. So really, I mean, if we really care, we should be making an uh, an effort to have time for that town meeting. Whether you have to take a vacation day or a sick day or some sort to get there, you know, if people really cared, they should get there. So I mean. You know, I think the remote thing, aside from the COVID situation we've been in, I don't think remote is, you know, even though it's a thing of the future, I think when it comes to town meeting, the whole point of town meeting is people there making those decisions. So that's how I feel on that. I agree with you, Ed. It was the one guy who was the home health care nurse that was talking about his patients not being able to go that got to me on that one. Uh, I, I can see, I can see where that could be an issue. If my if my memory and understanding of that conversation was though a part of that is state law about what governed town meetings and so if we wanted to go the route of recommending the selectmen advocate to legislators but that gets really you know into the weeds. And if it's something that's not the something the selectmen can actually take actionable item on, again, you know, I think that we don't want to make those recommendations. If we wanted to talk about 
districts and so on. This commission's already decided we don't want a charter. And it was very clear that you need a charter for that to happen. So I don't want to set the selectmen up to fail either. I think the sign's a great idea. I think reactivating the committee is a great idea. I like Peter's approach. I mean, there are things there, but I just, if it's something that the state has to fix to allow, you know, find ways that would allow remote participation in town meeting. But I'm pretty confident that it was even with a charter, there were still some things like that that we couldn't do, no matter how noble the cause is. But again, just my two cents on that. Oh. Remote participation in the town meeting is not something that, in my mind, is even feasible. Um, there's a difference between remotely participating and then maybe just being able to view and listen to the town meeting. Um, that they could probably do. But to participate, um, first of all, um, do you know that the person that's participating is actually a registered voter? Um, not just somebody else. And how do you how do you count those votes from remote participants without doing a a hand count of everybody that's in the facility and remote people? Um, will they? Is the connection well enough that they can um, hear everything? Right. How would they? How would they make amendments to the chart up to the uh, warrant articles? And how would they speak to it? Um, so there's a lot of big issues and problems with remote participation. But right. I, I don't think having having a town meeting um, put out over the TV or something like that, or even up through the, the web um, in real time is something that we cannot do. I think that's the last thing. I don't think so. It's been taped. Yeah, I don't think it's, it's ever been taped televised because we were in usually. Yes, yes, it has. Yes. It, it, we uh, have. I, I will. Have, I, I, I do have to say, and I had to make note of that so I wouldn't forget. We did have a town meeting that was televised. There was something televised. Uh, nobody could participate, but I distinctly remember people coming to town meeting because they saw it on TV and weren't happy and came in. Yeah, and I and thought I think, that that was the reason that they don't tell us. Were, were we at the Orion that year versus the old uh, lunchroom at Mount Era? I I can't remember. I almost think it was Mount Era at Commons, but I I I can't be positive. My memory is testing me on this one, but I do remember. People came into that meeting that day because they weren't happy with how they saw the conversation going. And we had some quite lengthy conversations back in those days. And, and you had time to come in and, and, and debate it as well. I remember uh, Jeff Simpson used to always tape them and they used to be put out afterwards. This was, uh, I remember this meeting was fairly live. I gotta remember, I mean, I've been around a little while, so I don't remember when it was, but my wife reminded me that it was at Mount Ararat. She did remember it too. Um, that, that might have been the one where they were talking about eminent domain. Yep. So, I think you're possible right. it was it was possible That's for right. that the town meeting, town hall, and all that stuff. I'm not positive, but I, I know it was a while back, but I it did encourage people to come in. So if we could televise it live but you can't participate unless you're there. That's another good thing we might think about to get people to think about coming in anyway. We could probably relatively easily do what we're doing now. Right, an owl. And do a webinar with yeah. Zoom live. You might just get a few people hooked on it. Who knows? Great. Yeah. And say, oh, I gotta go to the next one. Yeah. I think if nothing else, this will sparks on communication and right I don't know rejuvenated interaction with trying to get people interested in town politics. Agree. So who wants to take a stab at 
we want to decide on which recommendation we would like for a more workable approach. Okay. Okay. Sounds like they already did more of more informational sessions. That one's already being implemented. Yeah, that's great that you guys are and we said a couple can be combined. I think ethics policies on there and strengthening ethics policies a little bit. And also setting um, policies for committees and boards too. Yeah, that would combine two of them. You can recommend ethics policy that covers right. committees, boards like the all town. Maybe we already have one for the oil employees. Yeah. We're so the select board that has them, is that right? And then, but it's the other committees that don't, is that what, if I remember right? Yeah, I think so. Well, I never Planning board goes by something. So do they just go by the same as the select board? Because um, they're refusing themselves quite frequently. I think it's just basically based on state law. The, wow. the certain things that they know from court cases you can't do. So it's basically that. Yeah. And if you're you know basically involved in what's going, mm -hmm. what's coming to the planning board, yeah. Which is common sense. And I've seen planning board members do that all along. The personnel policy has some ethics things for staff members, and the select board have their own policy that they have that has some ethics things for them. Looking at something uniform so that all your boards and committees and everyone are bound by the same. Okay, keep going, Matt. You're on a roll. Oh, um, again, I just highlighted six here, and I'll just read them off real quick. So, improve town meeting advertising that would be the sign recommendation, right? Uh, and further communication, strengthening the ethics policy, same thing. Uh, recall or removal from office. I know it was discussed, it would be at a high level. That would be the recommendation. And with, withholding pay keeps coming up, so I figured that one should be in there. Yeah. I'm not really sure how this one would work, but I'd be curious to watch it be explored. The incentives to encourage volunteerism. And then can change committee structure to a point where selection. Uh, is that changing it from a point from the board of selectmen to you get elected? Is that what that was about? Because committees are already appointed, right? By the board of selectmen. So would that be the rec was the recommendation that they would then be elected certain ones like the board of selectmen or the planning board or the finance committee? Right, was that what it was? Yeah. Do you remember? I don't remember offhand. I don't know. Well, as it is, you can't get people to. Oh, I know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, think, I was just thinking oh, that'd I be think an it interesting. Was that was talking about elected plan board. That's what I feel like I remember too. I think yeah. other communities do that. Some communities, I don't know what would want, but some signs. So. I, I remember the conversation. I remember the conversation on that, but I didn't see a whole lot yeah. of support for it. I didn't come out of the public hearings. That was from Jeanette. Okay. Yeah. I mean, the planning board. Does it really have any authority? Right, they recommend, right? Yeah, they 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 recommend um follow, basically they recommend to the board of selectmen <clears throat> and recommend it to the town meeting. It's town meeting that has the authority when it comes to um, you know what our zoning laws are and, and things like that. The planning board, other than that, they just follow the rules that are set by the town meeting when it comes to specific projects. I don't know how having an elected planning board would really change anything. Certainly would be hard when you have people that leave mid, you know, come and go as their as their things change or whatever, you have to have an election to do it. It seemed like yeah. it would be very complicated to have people. Yeah. yeah. Plus you would. I know they've had quite a search to fill the last few times. They had a yeah. spots. Well, then, yeah, so I would say the other five that were ones that I thought would be interesting to explore. Whether they were turning to anything, I, I don't know. I don't really know the legality would, would offer for an incentive to volunteer, but. Well, they throw it out there and that's for them. And the 
new teacher. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Hey, I used to have a promotion. <laughs> <laughs> they used to like have a get together once a year and have you know desserts and coffees and things like that. Yeah. Breakfast with the town manager will take you out <laughs> or dinner. Right. Dinner. Yeah. yeah. The restaurant of your choice. I think I think Mark's looking for a free meal, Derek. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, he's not elevated, so you can just curse at me upstairs. Yeah. Very, very good. Conference with the manager. Exactly. <laughs> we'll call him. <laughs> well, Matt, do you want to take the part? Yeah, that's right. Putting something together. You did such a great job on that. I would normally say yes, but my life has been extremely hectic recently, and I've got a lot of competing interests this time of year. So, but I, yeah. I'll take a stab at it. Well, take a stab. He milled around and yeah, I'm saying you can get a lot of Yeah, you can all yeah. a little notes and. I was to say, was there anything else that one like that people might want to throw in? I think you covered for my major thing. Yeah. And they just keep coming up over and over. So. Yeah. yeah. And you can consolidate a lot of stuff. Yeah. I think with the GRC, with the final report, we just, maybe it's because of COVID, but we just ended up doing an email approval, right? Today. When we finished, when I finished the report, because of COVID, we didn't we weren't meeting, we were just passing it around. I think so. And everyone said yes and yeah. then yeah. submitted it. Yeah. And then, I don't know if you haven't noticed, but are our minutes and stuff up on the. Um, they are up to a point. I okay. think I need to add some more. Yeah. But. We actually are going to need to include these minutes and the minutes from the other meetings. So maybe, and maybe oh. you can all can sign the report at that time too. Mm -hmm. So have one more one. Yeah, I think you're probably right. The other reason is because we're not really supposed to be doing business through the email. So right. it, would be, it would be better to have, have a final meeting to approve the report. Yeah. But that's not what we did. <laughs> But it's okay, fine to we'll, send drafts. We'll yeah, exactly. drafts and do yeah. that revisions. Um, so when would you like to schedule something? We had been doing the first and third, and the first is next week. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's enough. Time. And then. Yeah, the following week is town meeting. May 11th? Oh, I think you might have two meetings over oh, right. I think that's why we ended up with the first and third. Yeah, yeah. other ones in this week. I'm already yet. At jail in, in, in the jail. When are we doing that day? It's a party meeting. I'm, I'm yeah. committed for the 11th as well. The 18th is open. Okay. I can do the 18th. 18th works for me. I will make it work. And I'll make sure that. Uh, Members know as well. All right. Are we um, now it's now now I'm, I'm trying to behave. Don't anyone take this the wrong way because I just I have to I have to say it. when I came onto this and agreed to be on this. I guess I had certain assumptions that I came in with that surprisingly didn't involve having a mindset of either for or against. It involved focusing on what we were here. 
Um, and I think we did a great job of that with the two public hearings for the um, town meeting form of government. Um, but I also heard a lot of things in those two meetings that said <coughs> people who were against changing the town meeting form would consider would be interested in exploring a charter. I did hear that a lot. And I guess I guess I can't help but wonder why we didn't take just that one final step to have a public hearing to get input on the charter. It just seems like maybe we didn't finish doing following the process or doing due diligence. I know that most of the changes can be made um, either by ordinance or policy, but that all requires the selectmen to initiate, which not to say that they wouldn't, but sometimes if you have public support for it, it will happen sooner than later. So I, I guess I was just perplexed because town meeting form of government implies democratic process, implies all things about people being involved in making a decision. Why were we hesitant to take this step and let them get, have one more chance to get involved in the charter process? And that's just me, I, I just don't, and my mindset may be totally different on the process, but I guess that was the only thing. I don't disagree with your decision at all. I hadn't had a chance to formulate one because I was counting on hearing. So that's all I have to say about that. I just, um, I guess I wondered why we didn't take that step. And that's it. Okay. Any other comments? Okay. I guess I'd entertain a motion to adjourn then, unless anyone has anything else in record time. Motion to adjourn. Second. Oh, he's had enough. <laughs> I guess Derek thinks I've had enough food. <laughs> no muffins for me. He's been sponging off him for the last two days, I think. <laughs> All right, good time to end the meeting. Good night, everyone. We're going to close it now. Can I run a meeting?